bag. See if Austin learns how to jump. Just nuts uh, slam right there. <laughs> just ball check. What is what is our fascination of hitting the other man in the ball? I think it's because we know we hate it. Oh. Oh. God, stop calling me, bitch. God. I told you no. Don't take till tomorrow. I told you. I'm in a relationship. She's okay. Stop calling me. You got that? Shut up there, bitch. So this time I should go to the airport. You are such an ass. back down. So, Agro is explaining me the concept of a beard, and not in a fun way. Yeah, uh, a beard as a... Okay, what? what? Now hold forward, just go up, press A, and then press forward, like you have to... There you go. Hold it. That's really awkward to me. Why is it perfectly set in like that? I'll take care of that later. And then, um... Did I come out this way? actually have to go, yeah, you came out that way. I woke up like this. I'm pretty sure the lamp, the one that's lit with the lantern, is the one that you haven't got. Oh, that's yeah. sexy. Anyway, yeah. So, what's a beer for our viewers? Oh, like back in the day, which was a Wednesday. Um, men who like weren't op couldn't be openly gay. The threat of being hung or something. Yeah, would sometimes get married, and they'd have like a wife, you know, but their wife was just to kind of cover and throw off suspicion. That they were gay, so the the term for their wives was that they were like their beard, you know. They called them their beard when they were referring to them in that context. Like, she's my beard, you know. I mean, it's cool if like the woman agrees with it. Mm -hmm. It's not like like the woman thinking in love with her, you actually like dig that doesn't kind of mean. I mean, you could have both. You could love her and like. Well, then you're not gay. You're bi, aren't you? Or you could just really care about her, but not be sexually attracted to her. Yes, that's fair. I'm not saying that it's a good or a bad thing. I was just talking about possibly. No, I just not saying that. In the, the, like, I, I'm saying in the, in the conditions of making someone love you under false pretenses is fucked up. Ooh, where's a barrel? <laughs> <laughs> I need a barrel. I need a fucking barrel. That's all I'm saying. Like, you know. And a person shouldn't have to hide their, their sexual orientation. For oh. Oh. Threat under persecution. But <laughs> you're hiding from this guy. Yeah, he's the heterosexual patriarchy. Yeah, it's a it's a metaphor. And the barrel's a closet. <laughs> and I'm, I'm And this again. hill is my life. <laughs> and now I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Well give me some dick boys. Okay, you have to sidle here. <laughs> I said I said sidle, damn it. <laughs> oh god, bitch. Oh, thank god. Was See, there's like, it was designed like that. You have a little forgiveness zone, so you, so you get to learn that you have to you hold have the to button. Hold it or not, yeah. yeah. It doesn't tell you, hey, you have to hold the button. It says, oh, oh, let's, let's oh, give you a little space oh, to experiment. Oh, 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 oh. And for the first part, if you let go, you can get back up. You know, so it's kind of like. That's not like that. See, what happens when the player's like all the way here? What if I let go of it? And like, oh. Well, that's why there's a ladder. Oh, it's like they designed it. Yeah. <laughs> but this one's a little less forgiving. A little less. Oh, shit. I was right up there. Oh, stop doing that, Link. I'm clipping through the wall. Awesome. So there's still like some room for error, but you have to be a little more and careful. I get some rewards. I get hearts of my enemies I'm going to slay. I get my fucking sword back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw a picture on Redwood dude's balls with like a perfect heart. Interesting. I was like, oh, that's kind of sweet. And I should take this off my phone, but aw. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at those heart balls. And what's that glorious shining thing in the distance? <gasps> oh, trusty fuck. blade. Oh, <laughs> looks Sheila! So, looks so happy. <laughs> I want to fu- oh. How did you not see? There's dirty motherfucker. <laughs> sword. Just Cena! <laughs> oh, what the fuck you want? You want to dance? Yeah, that's right, bitch. You got a sword back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, learn how to use all those things that Orca taught you. All the techniques that were developed in Harold. Yeah. Doc. 
I give you a sword as bigger than mine. I mean, you could have taken it during the fight too. If you wanted. Later, you get like oh, a little like a wooden door. Later, you get like a grappling hook that you can like steal items from them with. I shall call this Dick Chopper. Come. And it's silly because he can wield like any of the weapons that they drop. So even if it's oh, huge, you me? Oh, they're look, limited to the Dick range. Chopper. I'll miss you. Even if they're huge. But it's there's like 18 times the size. Yeah, <laughs> giant ass swords. You just pick it up and start swinging it around and throwing it across the room and stuff. That chick in the back of the is going to kill everybody. <laughs> that other chick has the biggest... She whipped her neck around a little too fast. <laughs> Wait a minute. This was too goddamn Y'all motherfuckers want to go? Come on! Come on! This bird's going to get it. Break up, break up. Oh, I'm gonna stab you, vagina asshole. After you've done you eat me. Is it a boss fight time? Uh, no. No. Is it just gonna throw me? It's gonna show you the boss. Who's the, who's the pappy? <laughs> I'm the pappy. Are you Oh, it's Dan. <laughs> I saw the red hairs. Oh, fuck, it's Dan. This is actually one of my favorite Ganon looks. Like, I like the way he looks in this game more. Yep. So, are they, they're supposed to hide it from me? Why did he... That fucker. Why do I keep getting thrown 80 miles? <laughs> what is am I the made hero of? of wins. <laughs> so, should I win this more? Guy. I'm just gonna die here in the ocean. <laughs> Traveler's log. 487 hours since I was thrown from the top of the mountain. <laughs> All I've had to eat is seagull shit. And my own foreskin to keep me alive. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> the thought of eating your own foreskin. Uh, would you do it if you had to? Can't reach it, so you have to like claw it off with your fingernails. He's got grab it, going. <laughs> oh Leave it out in the sun. Let it I cook. guess that's not the worst thing you could lose to eat, you know. Yeah, we have that's purpose. Yeah. Extra meat, just in case. <laughs> just in case. It's just to get us through long winters. You're supposed to eat a lot to get a plump and fat. And I'm pretty sure it. I try to eat, eat my own hair before I eat my hair. Does hair have any? Nutritional value at all? I mean, it's not like a foreskin is gonna have a lot. At least it's meat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you can use a foreskin to fish. You're surprisingly dull-witted. <laughs> Fuck you, boat. Why is this boat talking to me? <laughs> laughing at me. Oh, it will explain. I'm the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Plaza. I've been watching you since you went to the first. <laughs> Forsaken <laughs> fortress. Trust you. Whenever times right Talking like this really hurts my neck. <laughs> Can you stand in front of me, please? <laughs> what doesn't been like this, child? Full hearty, I suppose you saw him. A shadow that commands that monstrous bird. Robber, robber, gobber, robber. I got big ass teeth and a nose. Pepper, gobber, pepper, cannon. <laughs> Ganon. Rabble, rabble. So yeah, this is just exposition. And I he's just being like, yep, whatever. That's sure. right, kill the fuck out of this nigga. He's like, you know, it's really dangerous, right? He's like, yeah, whatever. Kill the bitch. I'm too stupid to be afraid. I don't give a fuck out of the Triforce of Courage. What is that? What not is the Triforce of... Knowledge. The Knowing smarterness. Better. <laughs> not the Triforce of understanding a situation too dangerous for me when I'm in over my head. Fuck that, Courage. This is the Triforce of Courage, not the Triforce of... Bitching out. <laughs> Triforce of... Caution. Common sense. <laughs> reasoning. Did you say he doesn't have a sail? Yeah. Why? Did someone hurt him? Oh, yeah. And he doesn't even like a lion either. Oh, I'm fucking that pig. Oh, these piggies. What, is that nigga one in the gang or something? Or didn't... Kinda, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Did you get a sale? Oh, my first ring of the 
Okay. God. No, fuck you in your sail. Thanks for saving me, though. Motherfucker. You really need to pull over the pig tavern. <laughs> Is he really? Oh, little piggy bar. Yeah. Pig, now I'm gonna kill you. What are you doing? I don't think I feel like I'm gonna get that off. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, why is he notable in water? Recovering. <laughs> oh, heal me. Magic waters of the whatever the fuck this place is. This is Windfall Island. Is it, again, this is on top of a mountain, right? Yes. Weird. <laughs> Weird setting, but I like it. But I like it. I'm enjoying it for some fucking reason. Oh! Uh, this is not my house. No, this is a bomb shop. So look around, there's, there's bombs. <laughs> you can buy them. You're talking weird little dudes, you're a cell child. Dangerous and closes. He does what he wants. Hey, got some bombs, got money. I can steal some money. Whatever, kick him back with money, get some bombs. Okay, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever, kid. Okay, dude, bombs. So there's a lot of different stuff you can do in this town, but. The thing I like about this, uh, uh, or at least the thing about this game, is that all the islands have stuff you can do on them. Mm -hmm. Like later you get your map and every chart on the map has its own island, like every square on the grid. Oh wow. And this is one of the city islands, like one of the towns. And you can like come back here throughout the game and stuff changes. And okay, you know, well, I'm going to ask what's the main storyline, because... Uh, you need to find a sale, so you need to go talk to Sam! the shopkeeper. These guys have a little quest you can do to like get some of these heart and stuff. All over that. <laughs> yeah. So you need Ow. to look for a shopkeeper who is carrying a sale for you. A sale. Not a sale as in discounted goods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking goods. Oh. <laughs> for, for the good of the community, you need to die. Maybe like go through here. Again. Ah, I was looking at aggro. Sorry, that's why I have my red wall. Why am I talking to you? You don't want to what? You want to freak? <laughs> you kind of handsome though, I want to fuck you. You're like See, five! See, you get a camera here too. How do they have technology for cameras? They're called picto boxes. He was like, he was like a child pedophile. No? Then later, <laughs> he was like a pedophile. I'm not he's walking, he's like... <sighs> I like the way your hair kisses your mouth. I'm not even here. <laughs> I don't want a camera that bad. And then later you can get a color one, and uh, you can trade the photos in for statues and like, the stuff you take photos of. So you can have this whole statue collection of like literally every character in the game. Hmm. But you only can only carry a couple photos at a time. So it's an art of... Yeah, it's, it's a process. I've never completed it. And you need like the color photos too. You can't just do this. I know it. I'm talking to you lady who's about to see me. So you have to go on this quest to find or like get the photo camera, and then you can create a color photo camera, and then, and then you, then you can take pictures of like bosses and characters and stuff, and trade them in for statues at this other island. Remember the guy in the in the Eskimo outfit? Is that him? Yeah, that's who you're supposed to. Damn it! <laughs> My, I was like part of this Eskimo looking bird motherfucker here, but oh, we gotta say, oh, he's an Eskimo. Eskimos don't need, don't need sales. They're Eskimos. That's creepy. How are you not dying from heat? You have to talk to him through the counter. That's what I said. Otherwise, he won't talk to you. How is he not passing out from heat stroke? He must be 10,000 degrees. It's pretty part. cool there. Uh, the, the, the sun is shining. It's totally cold. What the fuck? How can I go? Yeah, so you have to go find his friend who's locked up in a, in a jail cell. What the fuck is with this in prison? God damn it! Where's the jail at? On the bad side of the island? Yeah. On the black people are? Yeah. <laughs> is that a hat or hair? 
<laughs> That's an excellent question. I think it's a hat. It could be hair. Probably hair. Is he pregnant? <laughs> He's pregnant with muscle. Pregnant with packs. <laughs> I'm gonna give birth to me later. Uh, okay. There's Elvis at that great place too. Elvis? Wow. Yeah, talk to him. I don't I don't wanna to talk to him, he's busy. <laughs> Is he Nelly Elvis? He could, yeah. Is he Nelvis? Nelvis. <laughs> he's Ellie this. Oh You can learn a like song from him later. Oh this he's gonna he he just gonna, stops. He's gonna rape me. <laughs> just blanks occasionally. Look at his little pelvis movement. <laughs> he's gonna rape me. I'm taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You don't know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready guy, one, two, one, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? A long time ago, I met a delightful little guy who performed the most amazing, dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I can't seem to get the intricate rhythm down. You think you know the rhythm guy? Wow, alright, well, I'm gonna <laughs> do something productive with my... There we go. There we go. Not, there, no, other way. Door. No, pig. Door. Pig. Door faucet. Pig. Okay. First I must murder pig and then door. Fucker. <laughs> I really like how this spin is just. <laughs> <laughs> pig. Try to shit on my head. I'll be damned. That's the part of my face. This is in Germany. In my town. Oh god, his creepy it's ass. It's Tingle. Dingle? Tingle. Barry? Tingle. Dingleberry? <laughs> the T, Tingle. Oh, I heard Barry. Oh, this is prison, right? See, on the GameCube version, if you had uh, a Game Boy Advance, then you had the uh, connector for the... Uh, TV, yeah, we can connect to the two. There was a mini game you could play with him to find, like, rubies and treasure and stuff. So there's nothing to do with that. No, you can still, you still need to talk to him. Oh, I just walked in the front? Yeah, but uh, he That's serves a, a different purpose now, and you need him for the quest to get your sale. You have to let him go. Ooh. Oh, for the humans! Oh! Why is oh, that? He's a fairy. What? <laughs> like, for real? <laughs> you gonna do that now? I see the same green clothes with the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say, Sir, could you be by chance be a, a fairy? <laughs> Goodness! Did you feel my telepathy? That's why you say to me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Do not worry, Tingle knows without you telling him, sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I've been looking for you and your kind, for I, too, long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor. <laughs> You just called me a fairy, I'm not going to kill him for it. <laughs> I will kill you one of these days, fairy man. He has an island where he has a bunch of brothers that he uses like slaves. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> and they like push this giant windmill around forever, and he just stands there and doesn't do anything. No, you have to go in there and let him out. I, with what? You gotta look around the room, man. You gotta solve the I did. I really didn't think the key to the prison was in the fucking room. We got these pots. Got a torch. Got a switch. I fucking I hate the bowl and I got the fucking oh! <laughs> Really? That's how they run their prisons? I mean it's not like he'd be able to do anything about it from that side. There's a ruby right there, he just fucking throws rubies at it until the weight <laughs> set up. Thank you also very much. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kloom, 
<laughs> That's been his thing since he appeared in Majora's Mask. Okay. <laughs> I like how that he poses with you. <laughs> so, in the last version, or in the GameCube version, he would alert you on your Game Boy Advance, and you could play this little game and find extra stuff, like bombs and equipment and stuff. In this one, when you're sailing around, you can find bottles in the ocean that have pictures that other players have taken with comments and stuff. Okay. And you can save them, so it's a good way to like find pictures of bosses you might have missed or not gotten. So if you want to collect all the trophies. Okay. And people can leave little drawings and notes and stuff. How many dicks have you found in the bottle? Um, really? Yeah, Nintendo's actually really on top of their content. This let's play, I'm changing that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get my account banned okay. drawing dicks and bottles. Damn it. Oh Sorry, it's making me do shit. Okay, we're good. Alright. <laughs> It's okay, we need to end this episode anyway. I'm putting dicks on me first. Well, we'll find out if Fasa gets my account banned on the next episode of Cookies and Cream, the adventures of the Wind Wake. Oh, oh, and Fasa still doesn't understand how grabbing boxes work.